Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Turnip, finally back in Halo Wars, this time with a different kind of video. Uh, this is going to be more of a strategy breakdown, kind of review, uh, maybe a guide, you could say, to Chinese tanks. Now, what the hell is that, you may be asking? Well, it simply is Chinese tanks are really cheap stock tanks that you just, you basically bum rush stock tanks. You go pad, pad reactor reactor into depot it's disgusting it's awful and it uh, is best used on sergeant forge due to his heavy supply pads these tanks are made very quickly and um, hence the name chinese tanks made in china they leave you very very little economy to work with but they get tanks out very very fast i did a skirmish game as sergeant forge just to see how quickly we could get these suckers out there and three minutes and 10 seconds was my uh was my fastest time and again this was picking up no crates and i did not have a build delay so i was able to queue up every single building and i did not have to wait for more resources to come in so even if you collected zero crates you can still get a tank out about three minutes and 10 seconds so let's think of the pros and cons of this build uh we'll start off with the pros Obviously, the first one being very, very fast tanks. I can see this useful in like a team situation, like a 2v2 or a 3v3. If your teammate is getting pushed on really early by uh, maybe like a double covenant or say a bunch of warthogs, or if you're in a 3v3 and you're trying to get some early units out, um, I think that that could be viable as long as you take care of that tank because God knows if you lose it, that's that's all you that's all you got, man. So yeah, uh, early defense, really early defense, and really early aggression. If say you have a brood on your team and you just want to put some early pressure on the enemy's bases, pump out a Chinese tank, maybe send it on over there, see what happens, right? All right, let's talk about the cons now, and there is a shitload of cons. First one is your economy is kind of screwed. You do not have fortress and you are missing two supply pads so uh, it's going to set you quite it's going to set you back in terms of uh eco and getting you know the long macro game figured out if you can get something going in the early game maybe tech up behind though that uh really quick tank build maybe you can do something like that but you're very very vulnerable to early attacks from warthogs very vulnerable to like an, inher <clears throat> an inheritance chieftain or a raging arbiter. I can only see this working in a few certain situations. Also, by not building any warthogs, you're giving up the map control. You're letting your opponents get all the crates, and uh, that may slow you down in the long run when you're trying to get an expansion, because you'll have to wait for your tank to get out to clear anything. So as an example, I just played another skirmish game against the AI where I was Anders and I tried to get tanks out how I think is the proper way. And uh, let me show you what the result was. Now again, all builds are different. It totally varies on who you're playing, what leader they are going as. And a lot of the times you're going to be struggling for the crates. So. Again, this is not like pro strats or anything. I'm not a pro by far at this game. There's tons of people a lot better than me. You could probably improve, but uh, general rule of thumb is you want to get some warthogs out, pick up the crates, grab gunner, and just tech into tanks behind that. So by the time my first tank actually comes out, I've got a fully upgraded fortress base, all heavy pads, and four warthogs I can use to harass enemy bases. And in the meantime, I, I cleared an expansion with them as well. Now, uh, this isn't a normal game, but it just kind of shows you what I think is a little better, uh, better option. Four minutes and 40 seconds is the time it took. Uh, so now, without further ado, let's commentate an actual game where I go up against Chinese tanks against, I'd say, a pretty decent player. All right, guys. Hope you liked that little intro there. I'm thinking about making that into... Uh, sort of a series. We'll see what happens, though. We'll see uh, if I get any more good ideas for those kinds of videos. Uh, but it's going to be Cutter v. Forge on Tundra. We're going to be getting some hogs out to go and go and get them. 
This is, I think, the second or third game I played against Seven Foot Monster in this. Um, I was just kind of in a lobby. He was there and we we're chilling, you know. Um, but hope you guys are doing well. Big shout out to everybody who stopped by the stream. Prague, Rosie, um, Plush Dog. And we've got Tiny Shoe, my boy, Tiny Shoe. Always good to see you guys. Um, but we're just going to get, we're going to be getting some hogs out here. Try to take this map control over. We're both going reactor third, so that gunner's going to be coming up pretty quickly here. He is going to be popping a turret in the back as well. Um, the turret is not normal, but I had in the the past game or two i believe i pushed up on him pretty early with hogs so i think he's just kind of he doesn't really want to deal with that so he's going to be uh getting some uh getting some turrets to help help out help defend yeah that was a mouthful <clears throat> but um yeah hope you guys are doing well i'm always coming back to this game can't stop me from playing some halo wars with the boys um, I've been playing some new games as well. I've been playing lots of Dead by Daylight. Been enjoying that game quite a bit. Uh, what was the other game I was playing? Oh, Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite. Multiplayer beta. I don't know if you'd really call it a beta, honestly. It's, it's pretty much finished. But I've been grinding that out. Been loving Halo Infinite's multiplayer. Uh, and yeah, they've got some work to do with the customization for sure. But I'd say the overall gameplay is solid. So he's kind of not building any Warthogs to uh, to counter me. So I'm going to be just taking over the crates that I can. Try to grab as much as possible. Uh, in the previous games, he ha I think he did go Hogs, but he was trying out uh, something different this game. And I think we all know what that's going to be. But I'm gonna get my uh, get my pads upgraded. Just try to stay on the equal footing as him. Still on a station, so I'm just about to get my depot. Thank you, Cutter, for that uh, for that fortress. Am I right? It's another uh, really nice thing about Cutter. So we still got the station, which is a little unusual. So I came in and scout this out, and there it is, boys. There's the Chinese tank, right on time. So. Uh, I don't really know how I feel feel about this at the moment. Uh, his tank's already out. Mine is being built, uh, but he's got quite a hike to get on the get to the other side of the map. My tank, my first tank's coming up. He's probably queuing his second one as we speak. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try to defend. You can see that tank's pushing right on up there. Now something he could try to do. Maybe carpet bomb and attack my depot. That's kind of what I was worried about here. So I was queuing up the turret in the back just to try and defend some way. But you can see this tank gets here just about the same time mine comes out. So that's that's really yeah, that's like all the time you have from this strategy. Uh, to really make something happen because now I'm I would say I'm definitely ahead of him having the fortress and I can still just keep pumping tanks out uh, I just I remember there was a big discussion in the Halo Wars discord uh, I'd say a few months back and that's primarily why I wanted to talk about this in a video because I thought it was kind of interesting uh, something that may work here and now but yeah so I'm going to clear this base out. I really like to clear the base that's closest to me. Uh, I used to go for the side bases uh, simply because they were a little easier to clear. But now I just like how how close that expo is. Plus, you do get quite a bit of money from clearing this side. So I think it's worth it. Checking his score there, I did not get a chance to see if he got that or not but he does have fortress now and i think he is clearing some buildings out as we speak 
I've got quite a bit of extra cash, so I'm going to queue up an elephant. And, yeah, again, that's kind of a wild thing to do, right? Nobody really makes elephants in a, a let's say, a moderately high-level game. But on this map, I like to do it for the, uh, the center mega turret and possibly get some Spartans in these puppies just to, uh, you know, make them a lot more strong. And also going to queue up that base as well. Really take advantage of Forge's uh, great eco. His great expansion, the station upgrade. So we got a decent footing so far. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of blind to what he's doing. I probably should have sent some of those hogs in to scout instead of having them just sit there. But you live and learn, right? finally about to do so and uh, I'm feeling uh, I'm feeling okay in the situation local units moving out all units I'm gonna start clearing this out the hogs that did die did not see what to but I'm assuming it's just a ass load of tanks And uh, this turret gives you quite a bit of money as well. So I, yeah, I'm pushing in right now on it, but he kind of sneaks in and it's gonna engage. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of there. Try to uh, save some of these warthogs because now I can't pick up any crates. I guess I could with the uh, infantry, but not ideal. He's gonna catch that elephant and I'm gonna just pop on in there. Start fighting some of these guys. Get a nice kill on that tank. I'm going to micro that weak one back. And uh, keep on fighting there. But it's going to be... Ooh, two kills right there. Not what you want to see for sure. Very, very big setback there. So I'm going to set the Spartan into the... Um, Mega turret and fire away there. That should damage two of those pads. Pretty, pretty decent damage, I would say. Killed one, weakened another one. Local units. Local units. Send us in. Send us in. Pulling out. Send us in. Send us in. And Spartans inside of garrisons, for some reason, are, like, obnoxiously hard to kill. Um, if you're ever having trouble maintaining reactor control, throw a Spartan in there, because they are just stupid to kill inside of any sort of garrison. Their health is just uh, so much, so stacked up. Uh, I'm going to sneak in now, or, or plan, plan an attack, see if I can capitalize on having the tank lead here you got it. Send us in. map control is in my favor I'm gonna leave that Spartan behind and uh, I'm going to train a Marine up so I can exchange him out for something there. I can get that Spartan into a tank. And it's it's a slower game for sure. More of a, uh, more of a uh, slower paced game coming to a boil here. See, he is going to get the expo up. We are, he is queuing up a another reactor as well. So we're going to be pushing in. He's got one, two, three. Three reactors coming up. He did delete the turret as well. Uh, I'm going to see if he got himself the that other base over there. And I'm just about full pop as well. 
local units. All units. I'm gonna hit that, uh, hit that depot over there, and it's just gonna be too much. It was a GG. Uh, he's gonna resign. He didn't even have canister shell. I believe he was queuing up his fourth reactor. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks again. Peace.